All right, this episode's called The Palm Top Tiger of Happiness. So something to do with Tiger. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 14 of Toradora. Last episode was the fantastic episode, the finale to the triple episode arc of the Ohashi High Culture Festival. Man, I'm just forgetting everything. But it was just a fantastic arc about Taiga and her father. And now I don't know where we're going to go or what we're going to do, but it's going to be another little mini arc. I'm just excited to find out what that's going to be about. I say we hop into it. Remember, guys, with certain shows like Toradora, I can't put the reaction on YouTube. It will get taken down. So I, the reaction itself is going to be in the description. Then come back here for the review. If you guys want early access to this show and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, and you want to consider and you want to support me, consider checking out that Patreon down below. If Patreon's not really your thing and you still want to support me, just leave a like and leave a nice comment it means so much other than that toradora episode 14 let's do this that episode could be interpreted in what i assume to be a, a, a few different ways i don't even fully i can't even fully comprehend it or process it myself it, and the reason I say that is because, and they've, they've set this up from the beginning, but each individual character in terms of our five main ones have their own personal struggles and their own personal obstacles to finding their own happiness. And so if you had this ultra rare power to grant wish or grant happiness, you know, what, what would you wish for? What would be your ultimate wish? And, you know, what form would it take? And they're questioning that about themselves because they're questioning about their happiness and it's 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 deep it's real deep you know like we you think about it you know if taiga keeps giving this happiness to others how does she get her own happiness and then amy's a third party observer who's able to see even though she doesn't really portray it it's very clear that she is very happy you know thanks to the friends who she has gotten and Amy herself, even though she feels as if she's very responsible, feels as if she's very mature, is constantly constantly being told she's a child and how she does certain things. And 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 for her to also have these friends who are here to look out for her and stuff like that. I think she, you know, it's just like, if you guys want to give me your interpretations, I know it's, it'd probably be a long ass type or a long ass text to let me know in a big comment, but this was surprise like and i know I, I i've heard a lot of people who commented you know like when they first originally watched the show because it's super old does it say original air date uh it doesn't because because uh, i mean this is an old anime i'm guessing a lot of people watch this during the prime time of when they were supposed to which was middle school young high school you know young adult teenager air. like this is i i wish i had watched this i might i might have been more mature back in my day because i i started to really like mature and really become an outward thinker and a perspective kind of person i would say after high school maybe 19 ish maybe, maybe i could have been a little earlier you know maybe it could have made a couple more friends thanks to this show it's just really really it really makes you think it really does and it really and i appreciate that about that because it's got it's got its comedy it's got its slight slight you know pizzazz it has there and then of course the characters are the big thing but i'm gonna hop out of here this was a fantastic episode i appreciate y'all let me know what you thought down below of course leave a like i appreciate y'all have a great day dapper squad i'll see y'all later <laughs>